October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and here to raise awareness on the topic is Dr. Rachel Gendro, a breast cancer oncologist at Bryan Health. Rachel, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So how can we reduce the risks of breast cancer? So breast cancer is so common, one in eight women will develop breast cancer. And it's such a scary word, but the way to stay on top of that is to have your mammogram every year and start at age 40. Some women should start sooner if they have a family history of breast cancer. So how do mammograms work? So mammogram is, Brian Health has wonderful radiology suites where women can go in and have their mammogram. You do have to have an order from your physician and then you can schedule it any time. And they will go in, have your imaging done and have that result for you right away. And then you will know, are there any new things detected that maybe you're not noticing? So other than mammograms, are there other prevention? that people could do for breast cancer? Absolutely, so things we know that cause breast cancer are smoking, so I always say, you know, no smoking, very limited alcohol, exercise decreases risk, so we know that four hours a week is a 20% drop in your risk, and really knowing your body and knowing when something's different. So I really encourage women to do their self-exams once a month. They need to feel for any new masses that come up, you know, a new mass that is fixed and stuck and feels different from your normal tissue, any rashes or redness in the breast that are different, nipple changes such as discharge, hardness, redness, just any changes that you see, definitely get your physician to check you out and they should then order diagnostic imaging. So a diagnostic mammogram and an ultrasound. So what happens when cancer is found? So when cancer is found, my goal is to create a very encouraging, comforting environment to just sit and talk with my patients. It's just a very scary, mm -hmm. Thing to hear and I really want to embrace them and just try to make them feel as comfortable as possible. We sit and talk through what does your imaging show and what does the pathology mean and what are options for treatment. So from surgery we have different ways of treating breast cancer now and there's a lumpectomy which is we take to remove the cancer without removing the whole breast. The patient a lot of times will have radiation to the breast after surgery just to decrease the chance of it coming back. You can do a mastectomy, which is removing the breast, and you can opt to have reconstruction or not. So everyone's different as to how they would like to go about their treatment, but just to know that there's no difference in prognosis. So sometimes it's a misconception that removing the breast is better, but it's not necessarily better. So everyone's so different, and early stage breast cancers have such a great prognosis now. That's why we really encourage getting your mammogram, finding any changes early so we can take the best care of you. Uh, talk about some of the resources you guys have at Brian Health. Yes, Brian Health has a multidisciplinary clinic that treats breast cancer patients. So this occurs every Tuesday morning and a new breast cancer patient would come and get checked in and be in their room and they don't have to leave their room that day. So the physicians just rotate to them. So they would meet with the surgeon, a medical oncologist, a radiation oncologist, a genetic counselor, a social worker. We just cover every aspect of their care. This really helps with delays in care. So they don't have to go to multiple offices, see different physicians. It really kind of spreads that out. So we really try to get their plan all done within that morning and then they have their plan and they're ready to go.